Hey guys. <laughs> well, we're doing something a little different today. We're out at the toy fair here in Gray. Mm -hmm. And check out and see what all they have. I'm looking for pops. Maybe some vintage TMNT stuff. There yeah. you. I'm just here. She's just here to look at stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot more busy than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it's pretty packed. But they also have a monster truck show going on today, too. So. Yeah. I don't know if we'll check that out or not, but... I think that's different on mission. Yeah. So. It's di and it's different parking, too, so than where we're at. But we're going to go over, check out some of the buildings. Yeah. Yeah, let's see what all they got. I know there's supposed to be at least four pop dealers here. Yeah, I've seen some pictures posted online of where they were setting up last night, and they had some cool-looking stuff. Okay, well, I'm excited to see. A lot of people carrying stuff out, so. Yeah, I'm excited to see what they got. This is my first toy fair. Yeah, mine too. So, this will be an interesting experience. Mm -hmm. It's a $5 cover charge. Yes. Per person. Yes. Yep. So whatever we buy it will have already cost us ten bucks. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. Well, let's go check it out, guys. Seeing some funkos already as soon as you come in. Jody found this. Pop mug. I've not seen this before, have you? Not the Charlie Brown one. That's pretty cool. Look at these old Batman and then there's a lion from Oz and Robin and Star Trek and then Squirrel Girl. I don't see the dwarves too much. Okay. No. He's making me do all the filming so if there's glares it's because I'm too short. Yeah, I'm trying to shop. He's way up here. I'm way down here. <laughs> But it's, it's fine. I can't, I can't hold my arm up either. What'd you find? Wait, check out this old pop here. I've never even heard of this this one, Glow. It's like a, a Russian lady. Are my eyebrows good? <laughs> I look human today. I've done some makeup and my hair. So that's a plus. Yep. <laughs> Look at the fearsome flush toy. With the tongue coming out of the toilet and the eyeballs. If you could see it. Look at all this crocheted. Somebody's got a lot more patience than I could ever have. For sure. <laughs> These are pretty stinking cute. Oh, Abby would love this one. Look at the happy. Is that an Ewok? What is he? Yeah, it's an Ewok. Oh, well, he sure is a happy little Ewok. Check out this umbrella. Yes. Yes, a squirtle. Joker looks extra happy to be here. All right, I might get this one later. <laughs> Where's his mouth? I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh. These are so cute. Look at C-3PO. This one might come home with me. Look how stinking cute Donald is. Look at Mickey. The little oh, Mickey. Sorry. And Daisy. 
And then there's Minnie and Pooh. Oh my gosh, this Tigger. This Tigger might be the cutest thing I've ever seen. He's too cute. What else do we have? Look at Ariel. I don't like paint. I mean, I do like paint. No, why? Okay, this one. Well, that's like the only color. That little cougar. You see anything else? Mr. <gasps> Grogu's. Oh, look at the sparkly. Oh my gosh, there's Moana and Maui. There's Jesse and Buzz. He's behind there. Oh, Woody. <laughs> Bunch of Peppa Pigs, Paw Patrols, is that Alice? Oh, Alice is so cute. Jasmine, Merida. Oh, I see Chip and Dale. Chip and Dale and Pooh, Piglet's in there. Pluto and another Daisy. Bunch of Winnie the Poohs. And there's Owl and Rabbit. And Snoopy and Woodstock. And here's a bunch of Harry Potters. <gasps> Stitch and Angel. Or I thought I seen Angel. Maybe not Angel. It's the doll. I can't remember its name. Uh, it looks like maybe Superman and then a bunch of Pokeballs. Look who I found. Wayne and Garth. I've never seen these in person. So cute. I've not even seen this one at all. And I really want it. Really bad. Josh has found all this Ninja Turtle stuff. Yogi or Boo Boo, and then they have Ranger Smith, and I want him for the dad. <coughs> what are you looking at? This is what Ethan collects Demon Slayer. Oh. Hmm. I have bite Baby Spice doll that I bought at KB Toys when they were still in the mall. Should have kept it. I just realized that these were Adrima Genie dolls. And I love Adrima Genie. Are you going to buy it? Oh no, I'm debating on it. <laughs> it's debating. Any guesses on what he's wanting to buy? Somewhere on this shelf. Yeah. <laughs> one of his favorite characters. Right there. And he's doing it. He's getting his the woman he would cheat on me with. I believe. <laughs> I went to the toy fair. It was pretty cool. Yep. Was it? We just finished. It's a little smaller than what I was expecting. 
Well, I mean, that's big for our area. Maybe. But I did pick up something. I got it much cheaper than what I could have got it in, like, Walmart. I already showed one. Did you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I picked up Ahsoka, so... Yeah. I mean, in store she's twenty four ninety nine plus tax, and I got him got her for twenty bucks. So, yeah, not too bad. I also picked up something else, a whopping dollar. <laughs> yeah, you got a little Donatello figure. I didn't buy anything. There was a there was a couple of things I was interested in that I thought was cool, but yeah, meh. I am putting in an order with the crochet lady. Because, you know, Abby's got the baby coming. and Well, I mean, we should have probably put her name in there. Because I didn't even see... I didn't mm. see any of the people's names. The vendor's names. She gave me her business card. Oh, gotta oh, dig it out. I gotta wallet. dig it out. Hold on. <laughs> this lady does some pretty awesome stuff. Yeah. A lot of her stuff I wanted, but I didn't buy. I kind of really want... Her name is, the name is Naughty Gal. It's oh, that's funny. cute. That's kind of funny. Yeah. But I'm putting in an order with her. I'm going to order where the wild things are. I'm going to get Max and Carol done. And then Jody wants to get maybe Beetlejuice. Thinking maybe a Beetlejuice. Maybe. I'm thinking all kinds of stuff, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Just have a whole crochet collection. Next collection, crocheted everything. But I'm going to have Max and Carol done for the crib it'd be cool it's really because he wants it abby has no idea who no. the wild things are but i love uh, where the wild things are yeah. so it's a good one and we'll have it done probably in the style of the book and not the movie well you know i was thinking too because i'm trying to get back into my photography thing i hope Bet I could get her to crochet me a bunch of cute little baby outfits for newborn sessions. Oh, I bet you could. Because she says she'd done something wild things, like a headpiece. Yeah. For a photo. Photo shoot, yeah. Yeah, so. I bet it was the crown. Yeah, that's what she said. Yeah. Yeah. But his sister also crochets. Mm -hmm. But she's always, she's really busy. Always she's busy. She's a busy lady. <laughs> but I think I'm going to put an order in with her. I'm going to send it off tonight. She said it'd take about a month to get it done. Yeah. So. Yeah, because we'll be getting ready for a baby shower probably around July. Yep. She said she sh she charges $3 an hour plus material. Yeah. Which is cheap. Well, the big ticker that I was looking at that I really wanted was like 35 Yeah, that so, ain't bad. Yeah. Yeah. Not too bad at all. But I think the smaller things were... Even cuter. I couldn't decide. That's the biggest reason why I didn't buy anything today. Because it was all so cute that I couldn't decide as far as the crochet stuff goes. I couldn't decide exactly mm -hmm. which one I wanted because I wanted them all. Well, and they had, I only saw like one table that had these unique looking universal monster figures that you like. Yeah. I'm going to have to dig in to see where who sells those. It's hard to find universal stuff. Yeah. I mean, that may not be the case if you're a little closer to Universal Parks because they sell that stuff, mm -hmm. but it's harder to find it around here where there's nothing like that. And we also live in the Bible Belt and, you know, they don't like the scary horror oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. stuff like that around here like they do at other places. So it's kind of hard to find stuff like that, but it's becoming more popular. Yeah. Like, the crochet lady had Chucky and Jason. I know. And the little I feel Charmander. like somebody else. I thought about getting that Charmander. I was like, oh, man, this Charmander's pretty cool. He looked good on the shelf, but... I held back. <laughs> no, I, I really liked the crochet stuff. That was probably my favorite thing that we've seen today, so... Yeah, fun times, though. Yeah, it was fun. I hope they do it again. I hope it grows. I like, know. do a couple of buildings. Yeah, that one building was... I mean, I wish all the buildings... Because there's like four other buildings up here. There's more buildings than that. Yeah. But it would have been cool to see something, some more in those other buildings. Yeah. Yeah. But, we'll have to keep a watch and see what other things they got mm -hmm. coming on. Because 
That's fun. And if it grows bigger, I mean, that would be even yeah. more fun. It'd be yeah. an all-day thing. It didn't take us very long to go through that today, so. Yeah. It's all right. So, all together, your stuff actually cost what? 31. 31 plus our 10. So, yeah, $31. <laughs> Still cheaper than buying it off, like, eBay. Yeah. But. We had fun. Yeah. Well, what are we doing now? I don't know. Well, Probably eat. Yep. I'm hungry. We'll, we'll catch up with y'all later. Alrighty, guys. Okay. So. <laughs> we forgot the film. A little bit. We went to eat at Cootie Brown's. And it was pretty good. I didn't like they set us next to the bathroom, though. Yeah, we got set out next to the bathroom because it was pretty crowded when we first got there but our food was good mm. so um and then we went to a new antique store found some good stuff more mm. books for the baby yeah we'll show those off at the house when we get home yeah and at the next light, then we got left. bamboozled on a couple of things but it's okay yeah because you already found them cheaper at the next store beside of it yeah and then we yeah we went to the store next to it Gabe's if you're from this area you know where Gabe's is I've only been in there a couple of times but um, I never really had to look around but they had exactly what I bought for a lot cheaper yep. half of what she paid yeah oh well and the lady at the antique store was a little kind of hateful when we were checking out but it's okay but now we are going to another antique store. See what they got, because we love antique stores and we have nothing better to do. So, not today. you know, we're just riding around doing our favorite things. So, we'll see you in a little bit. So this is where we're going, right up there. Right? Yep, we're going to West Main Antiques. <laughs> okay, guys. It's been a lot of hours. Um, we stopped at a few places. We didn't think they were interesting enough to like film inside of, except for the antique store. But we forgot the camera. So we didn't film inside there. But we're going to show you everything we got today. First, I'm going to start with... Stuff from Merc 423 at the Pinnacle, the Bristol Pinnacle. Um, there's this lady that makes these crazy cool looking badge reels. And because I work in the medical field, I'm always named badge reels. But she hand makes these. She puts these little glittery beads on hand one by one and then she just makes them so cute and of course I got Mickey Mouse Clubhouse and a spring Winnie the Pooh bumblebee because they're cute but she had a lot more that I really want so these are really good quality they last forever they literally don't fall apart which is crazy because you would think these little jewels would fall off but these are like 15 a piece Great quality, lasts forever, and you can change them out. So that's nice if you work and have to wear a badge. Um, oh, her name, if you find her on Facebook, it's Goose Pimple Glitter Reels, I think is what it's called. Hold on, I'll tell you for sure. Yes, Goose Pimple Glitter Reels. So find her on Facebook. She always posts all the things that she's made as she makes them. So, um, the next thing I got, we finally found, because you know I collect the golden books, and anything Dolly, I have to have it. So, this is the best of both worlds. Um, I'm not going to crack it open. I can't. I want to, but I can't. 
I might buy another one just so I can have it <laughs> to flip through, but I'm not gonna crack that open because I don't want I don't want to ruin it. Um, so we got that at Books a Million, and then they had these on sale. This is regular twenty dollars. Got it for three dollars. Um, it'll be nice with all of. Abby's appointments, my appointments. Um, I'm starting to do photo sessions again now that my schedule's pretty open on the weekends. So I needed something to kind of keep track of everything. So that's nice for $3. It's huge, which I like because I rock big anyway. Um, and then at the antique store, this is their little thing that they're doing at the antique store. So if you're close by, you can go by that day. Um, it's Village Antiques. This is the one in Johnson City. But it looks like they have multiple stores. So you might want to find them. We, this is one of our favorite antique stores. So, um, but while we were there, I've been wanting like a garden flag for outside and we found some for cheap. It's just the thing that you stick down in the yard but this is the flag that I got for the spring. thought it was really cute and colorful. Some of my favorite birds and then little rain boots. Very springy. Um, so got that because I've been looking for some of those. And then we got more baby books. <laughs> but we got, um, supposed to be able to make an image because it goes all throughout the year. And it's read with poo all year through. So it's supposed to make a picture when you line them all up. But we got these for like a dollar each. We got 12 of them. And it's just different things throughout the year, but with Winnie the Pooh. So. We gotta find the rest of these. We've bought so many baby board books. We got a huge collection of books. But we bought 12 of them, so we're gonna hunt for the remainder of them. Um, so we can have that in our little collection for the baby when it gets here. So, that's, oh, we gotta do this. You wanna do this now or later? Do it now. So, my new obsession. Stupid Disney Dorables. <laughs> Thank you, TikTok. I'm now addicted. Because you all know I love my mystery mini stuff. Um, and this is Disney related. So, but I've been seeing a bunch of people on TikTok that's collecting these. And then they take their duplicates and do some really cute stuff. Like make keychains. Or the girl that made these reels put them on badge rolls and so I'm gonna find something cute to do with my duplicates see what I can do no you stay down there and uh, he's pouting the gear is pouting so you get your little collection list in case you all haven't seen these and then this set comes with one that changes colors if you put it in water. So we'll see. And these little ones, you can get two or three mystery bags in. Uh, this one's only got two also. But you can find them at Target and Walmart. Probably other places too, but um, I've only seen them at Target and Walmart. So, uh, no honey. Get down. Okay. I just started collecting these this week. I finally started collecting them. I don't think I have this one. <gasps> oh my god. I can't remember her name. What is her name? I can't think of it. Oh, she's so cute. Hold on. Sadness. Her name's Sadness from inside out and then 
Oh, this is my first duplicate. Share Khan from the Jungle Book. But now I got something that I can, I don't know, I'll have to think of something to do with my duplicates. But he's super cute too. Because he's a good kitty. Not really, he's a bad kitty in the movie, but I have to figure out what I'm going to do with him. I might just take him to work and start decorating my work area with Disney adorables too. <laughs> I don't know. What's up guys? So I only picked up two things at the toy fair today and when I went through the toy fair I was like I want to see every booth before I buy something and I just take mental notes of what I what I liked and at the first booth when we walked in I saw the Ahsoka. I had to have this one. I've been wanting this one. Normally in the stores they're 25 bucks plus tax and then online like Macari and stuff this one's going for about 75 and the guy sold it to me for twenty dollars i'd went around to some of the other tables and they were 35 40 dollars at the other tables but yeah i got a mint box crazy crazy good deal i guess the guy was just wanting to move some stuff so i picked up the black series ahsoka and then i picked donatello up for a dollar because i love my ninja turtles i think i'm wearing a ninja turtle shirt today yeah but gotta love him. I have no idea what this was for, but it says awesome across the sewer lid. It's cool. Something to put up. And then at the antique store, I picked up a couple books. These books were normally 15, 20 bucks in the store, and they're pretty much brand new. And I got them for three dollars a piece. But the first one is Darth Vader and Son. I had to have this one. This is the artwork in the book is so good. And I actually saw this one at Target a few months ago and almost bought it then. So yeah, the retail's $14.95. But picked it up at the antique store for three dollars. So can't beat that. And then this is one, because we had talked about it earlier about getting uh what are they, what were those things we were getting? The crochet. The crochet thing. dolls made. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to have Max and Carol made from where the wild things are. And I picked this up for $3. So this is probably one of the best children's books. So picked this one up. Very happy with that. Got two solid good books today for six bucks. That's pretty much what I picked up today. So, good day. But yeah, that's our haul for the day. Yep. So that's what we picked up. Antique, a bunch of stuff at the antique store. Yeah, we went to another antique store, but mm -hmm. they didn't really have anything. They did have a cute vintage dress that I really, really wanted, and I tried it on and yeah. couldn't zip it all the way up. So I didn't buy it, but it was so cute. Yeah, that store that we, we even showed the entrance or the on the wall. The sign. The sign. Yeah. They're on Netflix's Swap Shop. Yeah. Yeah, if you haven't watched that series, it's pretty good. Yeah, I love Swap Shop. It is a great show. Yeah. We need to start doing the Swap Shop thing. We need to listen yeah. to the um, Swap Shop on Saturday mornings. And yeah. Save money and just go to the yard sales. See how fun it would be. Yeah. Yeah. Could be fun. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's our pickups. <clears throat> Not much. Just a few odds and ends things. Yeah. Yeah. She should be proud I didn't buy one pop at the toy fair. They didn't really have any pops that were... In good condition. Yeah. A lot of them were in really bad shape with the boxes. And I'm, we're super picky on our boxes. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. We'll catch you all next time. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Mm-hmm. That is a big one. Subscribe. Yeah. Because, I mean, this week is our two-year anniversary, so yeah. who knows when a giveaway might come along. I know it. So, hit that subscribe button. Yeah. Alrighty, guys. See you next time.